Did you hear about Adam Levine? That shit? Um, I think so. He, like, cheated on his wife. Pregnant wife with an Instagram model. Yeah. And then wanted to name, suggested to name the baby the name of the Instagram model. Yeah. It's a bold Fucked move. Up. What yeah. the fuck? It's bold. And then, like, the, ins- <laughs> uh, the Instagram model was posting stuff while they were, you know, doing it behind the back. Um, Like... Like just digs at his wife, like you know, she she was making posts like you know, walking like an angel, and she's you know, uh, the wife is a uh, Victoria's Secret model, and she's an angel, yeah. and shit like that, and yeah, so sound invested in this? No, I was just he does know a lot more. How, where do you get your information on this? TikTok. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. I'm just curious. That's that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, people were talking. Hey, he he came out and said, yeah, you know, I did cheat, so. It's confirmed. So who leaked that he... <laughs> yeah, how'd they find that? Uh, the Instagram model. That he tried to name the baby that? Sumner. So that's her name? I, I think so. That's what I saw on a tweet. Who leaked that he suggested that as a name? I don't know. I don't know that. Bad information. Hmm. But I could, feel could like be it'd be unsure. easy to figure out since, you know... He was going to name the baby that, and that's her name, you know? But they didn't name the baby that. Yeah, but it was probably thrown out there, and people knew, like, these are the options. That's what I mean. But I think it was a talked about name. Yeah. Well. Do you ever think you're born with the wrong name? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. Let me, I have a good story about that. Like, Not really, no. If I had been born earlier, like, you know, up the line of, you know, siblings, yeah, I'd have been named after my dad. I would have been the fourth. I don't like numbers. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad I was born last. Oh, I could see you in that name, though. Yeah. What is it? Uh, I would have been Claude Adams the fourth. Yeah. Claude. <laughs> love it. I love it. <laughs> would you have a junior? Would you have a no? Junior? I would never name my I, kid the same name as I, me. I just <laughs> that would like be I mean. get it, but at the same time, it's like they don't. The world doesn't need another like, like me. Like what? I always think it's awkward when, let's say, a family has a son, name him a junior, and then they have another son. You know, like <laughs> yeah. well, that's kind of weird. Yeah, what do you like, name them? <laughs> who's the favorite? <laughs> like on the office. Yeah. Well, they he was named Junior till he was like four years old. Then they had a second kid, so then they changed his name and gave named the second kid Walter Junior and changed his. They could just tell. Yeah, (laughs) that's wild. Yeah, I I think I I don't know. Juniors. I know people. I have I I know people that are juniors and stuff, but I I don't know. I I I don't. Do you call them Junior? Like you know? Do I? No. Like like do you say you know so and so Junior or you just call them so and so? I think that just depends on if you know senior or not. True. You know? Yeah, that's true. Like, if But no, I don't. The people that I know, I don't. Yeah. Now, when someone says junior, do you think of the NASCAR driver? No, I think of Ken Griffey. Yeah. Okay. Be honest, that's one of the first yeah. ones that comes to mind. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Hey. Do you think of... I think I do. Think and of I don't NASCAR? know why. Yeah, you know why. I know why. <laughs> here in America. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with it, baby. Embrace it. Welcome to the Extra Medium Show. Between you, me, and the wall here, I had a bit of a doozy myself last night. Get this. A corn-fed harvest mouse, a hooker, a nun, a Flemish peasant woman, Whips, chains, whistles, yo-yos, a circus freak. My grandmother riding by on a bicycle giving me the finger and a duck. (laughs) What? (laughs) What It's so impressive that you did that. That is my favorite uh, Chris Farley dialogue. And welcome to the Extra Medium Show. This is the Chris Farley movie edition. edition. So I thought I'd pay tribute because I I love Chris Farley. And you know a movie that's from? I'm going to say the wrong one. Probably. 
Is it from Beverly Hills Ninja? No. I don't know. Uh, it's from Black Sheep. See, I thought it was a trick question. What? I don't know. That seemed like an easy answer. Coming right out of the gate uh, with my favorite movie. and it's, uh, I think it's Black Sheep. And that's not a popular opinion because I think a lot of people would say Tommy Boy. Exactly. Yeah. See, I I, I have to go with Tommy Boy. Be honest, uh, it's w- yeah. probably one of my favorite comedy movies. Yeah. Yeah. It's that good. Yeah, it is good. It's great. Like, I'm not a fan of comedy movies, but I could watch that one. You don't like comedy movies? <laughs> yeah. I'm, what a weird thing to say. I'm not a big comedy person. Like. Okay. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, if it's a movie's funny, yeah, it's good. But there has to be more than just comedy in it, you know? I, I disagree. What kind of comedy do you enjoy the most? Is it, like, not where it's stoner like, comedy? Is it, like, uh, physical comedy? or I don't like where it's forced, you know? So give me an example of a comedy besides... Oh, Tommy Boy. Put, I want, I want like a spot. newer comedy, like that you've watched recently that you enjoyed. Do you like stuff like Pineapple Express? No. Whoa. Super bad. No. See, yeah. And we're gonna bring up a lot of different movies because obviously Chris Farley didn't star in a whole he, lot of movies. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, but wait, you don't like Super Bad? Not really. What? What about like? Uh, have you ever seen Role Models? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I like Role Models. It, it's all right. I can watch it, but you know, I'm not, you know, laughing Big out loud. Paul Rudd guy. Are you? I love Paul Rudd. I'll make that you claim. Love Paul Rudd. So you love you, him. You love Ant Man. Yeah. Is that Paul Rudd. Yeah. I saw the first one. I liked it. I think. Most not mostly. I don't want to dis- say I hate Marvel, but I think I like the movie mostly because of him. Hmm. Yeah, like this is forty, hilarious. Yeah, love that movie. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's a good one. That's a good one. What about like Jackass? No. Do you Do not you like, like Jackass? Jackass? I d- yeah, I love Jack. I love I anything that makes me laugh. Yeah. it doesn't have to be like. I don't even have to understand why it makes me laugh. See, I like Jack Black. What? Wow. Shaman, there's so much wrong with you. I don't even know where to begin. Wow. Like School of Rock? I it's think a, he's funny. It's, it's a fine movie, but like, to not like funny movies. Do you like, like Kevin Hart? Yeah. I don't really like Kevin Hart. I do. Like, it, to me, in some movies, he, he tries to force it, you know? That's I think because that's he's his a character. yeah, because he, he, he's a, a comedic first, you know. Yeah. He was you know in the comedy before he was a movie star, you know. So I don't like Will Ferrell. He he's hit or miss for me. I mean, Kevin Hart made movies back in the day. You just didn't see him. Yeah, but he, he originally got famous for, for being a comedic. Yeah, I guess. But yeah. Did you watch a lot of SNL with Chris Farley? I, I mean, not, not at the time. I've, yeah, yeah, I've seen them, just not when they first came out. Yeah. Living in a van down by the river. That's probably the most famous one, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mick, what's his name? Uh, Matt Foley. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it still holds up. Physical comedy. I, I mean. Yeah. I heard... I I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like his daily diet of really alcohol and other stuff. And I don't know if it, it was <laughs> you're not gonna go into it. No, I don't remember what the exact things were, but it, it it's one of those situations where like, how could a person survive that? He didn't. Well, he did for a little bit. Yeah, you know when. Uh, do you watch SNL now? Um, I'll catch it every now and then. Honestly, I just like... It's on. Honestly, I follow them on Instagram, mm-hmm. and I watch the stuff on Instagram when they post it, and that sucks, because, like, <laughs> that's how... That's not how I'm supposed to... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But that is... Do you have a favorite cast member? 
at any time. It doesn't have to be right now. Hmm. Can I think about that for a second? I'll let it. I'll let it simmer in there. Okay. Shaman, do you? I'm trying to think of who mine. Who's yours? Yeah, that's the question, man. Come on. Um. I'm inclined to say. I like Dana Carvey a lot. Okay. And his impressions? Yeah. Um, I mean... Kate McKinnon. It's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like... Bill Hader, probably. Bill Hader. He's up there. See, I like Chris Rock, and he was on SNL, but I don't think of him like... I I probably like I like Chris Rock more than I like Bill Hader, mm-hmm. but when I like Bill Hader more on SNL, I get you. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah. Like Adam Sandler and his stuff was good. Yeah. But uh, John Belushi days. I haven't seen a lot from that. But college. I want one of the sweatshirts really bad. You'd be a poser. What? You know, you know what are you doing? <laughs> Stuck. Yeah. Did it cause did that mess up uh, the audio? Sorry. Stuck on my foot. I don't think I really have a favorite. No. No. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I I like the skits that some of them do, but then there's other skits with the same people in them. Yeah. It's just like hit or miss, I guess. So it's like, eh. To me, it really depends on the topic of the skit more than the people in the skit. I really like Weekend Update. Yeah. I think and that's fun, especially with Michael Shea and Colin y- Jost. Jost. I think it's Jost. It's not Yost. I think it's a hard J. Okay. Jost. Yeah. I like them. Have yeah. you seen what they do for the last episode? Where they write jokes for each other? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Funny shit. Yeah, because he just makes him say racist <laughs> shit. Yeah. The absolute worst racist shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, The... W- the Chippendale, the Chris Farley Chippendale, yeah, with Patrick thing. Swayze. Yeah, even though if now, like now that you when you watch it, it feels kind of sad. Like I feel, it, I don't know, it's not as, it's not as funny. I kind of feel bad for him. Yeah, like, and like a sad, like a cl- sad clown kind of way. Damn, you're getting deep. I am, but I watched the documentary about the Chris Farley documentary. I, I can't even remember what it's called. Shaman, can you? I need you to look it up for me. If I am Chris Farley, or I, I believe so. Yeah, that's what it's called. And it has a lot with his brother and it and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty I'm, sad, man. It's sad. Did you ever see the tribute from uh, uh, Adam Sandler and one of his shows when he's playing the guitar? Yeah, Whew, that one got me emotional. That was at his on his special. Was Adam, it Adam yeah. Sandler's special? Yeah. yeah, I watched that on an airplane. Oh <laughs> man! <Yeah. laughs> what do you think? What kind of movie do you watch on an airplane? Like, what's the ideal pick? Dude, we've talked about this for some reason. I always not lately, but I had a stretch where I was picking movies. I I was convinced were safe, and yeah. there were dicks in it, <laughs> <laughs> like on screen dicks. <laughs> And I was like, and then you just have to like put your phone down and like, I've messed up a lot. I started watching Big Mouth. I didn't know how bad that was going to be. And I was like watching that on a plane and it's like cartoon vaginas talking to you. <laughs> like it's, in, it's intense. I try and go comedy <coughs> or yeah. um, like a foreign show that, like has dubbed over stuff and i'd watch it with subtitles because i'm on a plane anyway mm-hmm. so like it's something that i wouldn't really watch that's like that i can focus because you on. have to focus on this right now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that honestly that's what i try and do but um yeah i have like i'll download a couple movies a couple tv shows get a little variety but i usually end up leaning comedy and then like movies or tv shows drama uh both 
Yeah. Yeah. It just depends. It depends on where I'm going, how long the flights are, like stuff like that. I try and piece it together. I'll be like, all right, well, if it's a three and a half hour flight, I'll watch a movie and then one episode of something. And then Have you taken a flight where you needed food? Mm, no. I think I have. But I don't right. remember. Needed food. Not like needed food. More than. Or they came. You. They asked you. No chicken or you know. No, right. no. Where they like serve a meal. No, yeah. I've bought like a sandwich, but not like. Yeah. How do you buy stuff on the plane? The they just charge a card. Just, on, uh, right, because that's how they would upgrade you if you want to upgrade for some freaking. You have reason. to turn your cell phone off when you're on the plane. Turn it on airplane mode. Does that really affect things? I don't know. I just follow the rules, man. All right. You don't get. You're not gonna get reception anyway so you might as well and it saves your battery and uh, you might as well just do it uh, we're about to be on a plane here in a couple months yeah these guys haven't alex hasn't flown suspiciously since like september 10th <laughs> 2001 and i've never been that's not a even a joke that's not a fucking joke <laughs> alex when's the last time you flew it was around that time what what is the exact time, last I, time i don't want, i don't know i think you need to say i don't i don't want to say people can imply See, you're sounding suspicious by not saying. <laughs> See, I was making a joke. And then, you're uh, making it a little worse. Yeah. I did get engaged in a 9-11 memorial. Really? Yeah. Did yeah. people look at you funny? No, I did, we didn't know. <laughs> no, it was, it was just a know. park and we were like, I oh. I didn't know. You didn't plan out where it was No, I picked be? where it was. You went to New York City. Okay, the, so the place that he was going to, we decided not to do it because it was way too busy and he didn't like heights. Um, right? No, I don't think I was ever going to do... Well, maybe I was going to do Empire State Building, but I don't think I was going to, for the most part. But this place is called Liberty Park. It's in New Jersey, and it has a perfect view of the skyline. And I, that's all I saw. I saw it was a state park, so it would be open. Okay? And it was cold as hell. It was r- very cold. And then when we got there, we were looking, and right where, right next to us is, like, the perfect view of the skyline. It's, like, where the two towers would be. So, you know, (laughs) and it's like with names and stuff on there. So it shouldn't get like torn down anytime soon. You can always go back. Right. Longevity. Yeah, it's not going to get torn down unless another country does this. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Weird. But, um. Yeah, you should. I can't believe you. I mean, I can believe it, but why wouldn't you plan that out better? You drove to New York, and you didn't. I just saw the view. What do you mean? It's a park. That's it's a park with a monument in it. But and you did it at the monument next to it. Was anybody there like crying? No, it was literally four degrees outside. No one was there. I think right on the uh, right on the ocean. I think the yeah. time has passed that you're allowed to make jokes about it, like like the grieving. Like when it's funny, it's like twenty two years. It's it's something after really? tragedy, yeah. Tragedy, oh. tragedy, tragedy. Jeez, I just Wait, stuttered eight. like seven Sorry. times. Sorry. Tragedy plus time equals comedy. Exactly. Damn. Yeah. I do like to go up to a, a random person. Where were you on nine eleven? What? <laughs> I was in second grade. <laughs> Everybody has an answer, though. We were both. We were in the same, same class. We experienced together. <laughs> and we, then he got signed out. No, I didn't. I uh, never fucking you, okay, left you school. Were, you were right, a f- pussy bitch. Jeez. Dude, no, like, be honest. Most of the kids in our school got signed out. So. I, I remember not. I, I was in junior high, and I remember going to. F- we had football practice. And I was like, I feel like we shouldn't be practicing. But we had practice. And I. Is that the year you went ten and zero? Shut up and get in line. No, I was in junior high. Oh. We did go. We were pretty good. Though. Oh. Yeah, no, the reason why I didn't get signed out, my oh, family was in the hospital. <laughs> Everybody yeah. was at the hospital, but me. So, well, then I was watching. Uh, I didn't think like, it's got we pretty dark. Yep. Yep. Not, how do we well, go my- from talking about Chris Farley <laughs> to where we to were at nine eleven <laughs> and shaman? Being a uh, see, I don't even being left say, out. I, I, I was gonna say being a latchkey child, and that's what it sounded horrible. What's that even mean? Yeah, I don't know what latchkey. That's like child. when the kid, the kids don't have anywhere after school to go. 
Oh yeah, that was me. That was me. <laughs> I'm not trying to like dog your parents. No, or no, we I'm got stuck in the after school program. That's like, what I didn't say, but the like we got stuck. Yeah, in the yeah, after, yeah, yeah. After school programs and shit. Yeah. Apparently, my family had a safe word that I knew <laughs> nothing about. I have a safe word. No, like I'm not telling you. <laughs> Like it's apparently, my life. like all my sisters had a safe word and shit. <laughs> not for like, like that either. <laughs> it's not like that. It's like if I was on the phone, yeah, and I'm you're up. you're about to get kid, uh, killed yeah, or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. and you can tell your wife something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, even though I don't think she knows. Well, if I said it, she'd be like, "What are you talking about? <laughs> like we had this conversation." Just Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, but no, they no. have their safe word. Yeah, they had their safe word for like if, you know, like they were walking home, and you know. 20 years later i find out what the safe word is like what the fuck y'all ain't tell me that they had a safe word for the same reason the, our whole family apparently had the same safe word like what my mom it? made it i don't family wa- safe word fool you can't well, tell. i didn't know if it changed you said you were talking about no, it in the past it, tense no no uh my sister currently uses it for her family so oh. but yeah i know what it is i can read shaman like a book <laughs> 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 I got it right here. You ready? Yeah. Eucalyptus. <laughs> <laughs> you really think I could have said that <laughs> at like eight years old with a lisp? <laughs> I would have made it that just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have been fucking stuttering, like <laughs> trying to t- tell like the uh, cops or something. Yeah, my safe words e- 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 and fucking fucking up. Did you see that kid? <laughs> is this about a <laughs> no 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 the corn kid yeah oh yeah dude he's made my world so much better i mean corn is great <laughs> i love it i like the, baked corn but what do you mean with like in like a pe- corn casserole maybe people yeah call. cream corn with corn the in-laws brown that. sugar i like it <laughs> yeah. put a little crusty stuff on top i mean i just eat it straight up oh, all right my bad the corn edition my bad. I do like corn. Corn on the cob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, going back, we're we'll trying to get us back on topic. Chris Farley. Yeah, we're back. You like Tommy Boy better? I think so. It's in Ohio. Yeah. That helps. For yeah. some reason, Black Sheep just is like extra funny to me, and I don't know why. The bat. The army guy, what what's his name? Uh, uh, shame on the human Google machines on it. Uh, you trying to get the character or the the, the real played? guy's name? It's a I I can I can picture him, but vote for Don and then the kill Whitey. The, just the whole the whole thing's great, and David Tommy Boy's Spade, great too. Tim. Massinson, Christian Ebersole, Gary Busey. Gary Busey. Yeah. That's who it is. Yeah. yeah. Gary Busey. I was just going down the line until I Couldn't hit not think one. of it. What uh <clears throat> Doesn't he have, like, brain damage now? Pro- yeah. He probably had it back then. He was awesome. I think he just uh, got in trouble for something inappropriate recently, I think. Really? Yeah. Damn, Gary. Yeah, well. Was he the one who was in Under Siege? No. Yeah, yeah. Is he in that? I'm not sure. Yeah. I like that movie. I just like the way he talks. I can't do it. I wish I I wish I would have came prepared to do a Gary Busey impression because I'd have like practiced. I think if anyone could do it, it would be you. I that's the biggest compliment anybody's given me I think in the last it's genuine. year. <laughs> it's wild. I Every once in a while it. someone says nice shoes and it makes my day. But Oh, I fucking love Dude, the nice it's shoes. The best. Too. It makes you feel like you're at the top you know of the what, fucking you world. You know what somebody at work said to me? What? I wish my husband liked shoes and took care of them as much as you do. Mm, God damn it. I would have been on cloud nine. Yeah. I get. It. I like your tattoos a lot. Really? Yeah. Tattoos? Tattoos. Do and people ever like, say it like that? N- I don't think so. Yeah. Then I, I'm like, thanks. Do you I go like into two. Ex- and then you go into detail. About each one. Yeah, you no, go into detail. I got this one when I was overseas. <laughs> I did. The, the, when I do say something, I'm like, I got the shark in Cape Cod where they filmed Jaws. So Really? Did you really? Like, yeah. Did I they, did. Did the guy say he gets a lot of requests for sharks? He actually said he didn't. 
Really? Really. So yeah, that's a little shocking. There you go. I thought it was a great idea, though. Did he seem tickled by the? I feel like tattoo artists don't care about anything. And they uh, do. In my experience, they absolutely do not care. And about they, they're just like, <laughs> especially okay. like like when I go to a, an artist, I have a rough idea of what I want, but I've, like I'll show them examples, and I would like them to make it into their interpretation, and that's what yeah, I get. Their okay? style, their you know. But, they don't like yeah exactly they don't like me as much as someone who's like i just want a piece for my leg you know do your thing so like i'm not offering them the exact creative output i think they would prefer yeah like my tattoo is not what i pictured it I, it came out good but all right that was not a confident way to talk about your tattoo oh it's okay he, he moved away so he's no longer my tattoo artist oh I'm not loyal to tattoo artists, so yeah, we don't you shouldn't be if they're not good. Well, but the only problem is you f- the way to find out they're not good is to get one. <laughs> usually, to get a not good one. I don't have any. You should get one. You should get one. I'm pure. S- a skin like satin. Yeah. Want to taint this? You ever just rub in a tattoo and you can feel like the lines and yeah. shit on it? Yeah. I just don't care about anything enough. I don't care about any of this in my arm. So for a couple I know, but that's like, but you already started like young, yeah. So like, you can just keep going. When did that's you get your first? But tattoo? I can't just when I was uh, twenty three. I'm, I'm thirty four years old. I can't just get a shark tattooed on my arm. Which one was yeah. your first one? I mean, the I Empire can, but it's the, but like they'd be like, I'm, it just I'm it's pa- I'm past that. I forget they're on my arm sometimes, and it, it doesn't scare me. But I'm like, oh, yeah. like, especially in the shower, because like I have the one. The, we were talking too much about my tattoos feel, that no one can see, so it doesn't matter. I feel like if I were to get tatted up, I would like instantly I want go one. hard. I want hand tattoos so fucking bad, but really? it's... Really? Oh, dude, I love them. Freaking love them. But hand what tattoos? Gonna, what, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? I don't know. I, I really like hold fast across your fingers, um, and then I'd probably do maybe a couple swallows or couple cross cannons. I very much like the old sailor traditional tattoo style. Um, but to hold fast because the, hold the rigging, it'd be sick. But in a <sighs> professional world or environment, that's usually frowned upon. I also love neck tattoos, but I don't have a neck, so <laughs> that's out the window. <laughs> but yeah, there's always something to aspire to. I, well, maybe one of these days I'll stretch out. Yeah, I'm compressed. I look like... I heard you ate vegetables today. So I did up. eat vegetables today. Second day at work, I have to not be a little picky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that, like, that's what... It took peer pressure. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how would you think someone's second day, you're in a big meeting, and he's like, oh, I don't like that. Can you take that off of mine? You would have judgment. I would, I would judge him so fast. You know what you said? Huh? I have an allergy. True. <laughs> I have but an allergy to the what? earth. Yeah, to yeah. any vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so no. I just had... You know, and it wasn't that no, bad. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. But I, I've been going vegetarian Wednesdays. And, so uh, what's your favorite vegetarian meal? <clears throat> um, it's Dude, dinner's easy. Because you can make like cheese ravioli. Right. And like spaghetti. You know what I mean? Different pastas and... Um, but lunch, I struggle. Really? Yeah. I feel like for me, lunch would be easier. Like you go salad. Just, okay. Yeah. Or what, like, would you have a salad with an egg on it? Is that vegetarian? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Steak. Yeah. Is egg, no, yeah. Eggs dairy, right? Yeah. I'm trying to well, think of the pyramid. It's not vegan. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the pyramid. Um. Yeah. That they no I'll longer use. Um. A lot of breads in that pyramid. Yeah, it's a base, right? Yeah, we don't carb but load. See, I, would, I would go like, really, <laughs> that thing, that thing hits. But I try not to do that because I'm not trying to replace meat. Yeah, I'm trying to just, you know, what I mean, why? Yeah, I would do like just, a rice because why? Why? I don't think you need to eat meat every day, do you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alex's answer is simple. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I feel don't. fine. I I don't. You know, what I mean, the you day do look a little peckish. Well, what, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I do like a, uh, I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna take it as an insult. <laughs> and 
I, but I do kind of feel like the next day I eat twice as much meat to like because you're not getting the mm-hmm. protein. No, I just it's mental. You gotta you gotta uh, make up for the protein. Your blood's thinning out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been like two months, but that's good. Well, uh, would you ever become a, a pescatarian? No, what, I love me. Just it's like a branch of Lutheran. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the fish. You only eat fish. No, I don't like fish. I don't fish, much. and you I don't love... fish, or you don't eat fish. I, yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> I, it'd be like kind of messed up to fish and not eat fish. Like, what? What are you doing out here? Um, When's the last time you went fishing? I can name you exactly when I, last I was time probably I went in fishing. high school. So I was in second grade. Second, grade. big year for Shaman. Yeah, the second year, second grade. <laughs> big two years for Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was this like uh, fishing derby that our school was doing, and the only time I've been fishing ever uh, was in the uh, canal. And right, I didn't catch shit, but they had this raffle, oh, and I ended up attitude. winning a bike. So, <laughs> best bike I ever had. Uh, my bikes always got stolen. <laughs> yeah. I had like four of them stolen. Well, you didn't bring them inside. <laughs> I didn't. Or at least on the porch. <laughs> His no. ass left them in the front yard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mo- yeah, I blame myself, but yeah, I had. Did you a- ever see a kid riding your bike? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. not. I no. But would yeah, you, they knew you, where to go, man. You they think were, you would like, have said anything? Me. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not you got all. home like, mom, like, hey, I cool bike. bike. <laughs> yeah, not at all. You would have bought your bike back from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> One time, someone tried to buy my bike from me. It was a Star Wars bike with Darth Maul on it. It's pretty sick. I had training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Who would have bought it off of you? Like so another kid? Someone drove by and it was parked out front and I was like sitting on my steps. And my mom was outside too. She's like, is that for sale? I swear to God. You were sitting on it? No, I was sitting on the steps. It was like parked on the sidewalk. And I was, oh. Were you having a yard sale? or? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Who would cool story, man. I am well. There you go. Well, yeah, I kind of knew um, Chris Farley wasn't going to be enough to carry an episode, but I thought we needed to talk about it anyway and just talk about some comedies. And uh, I still can't believe Shaman doesn't like Super Bad that much. No. Why not? What about Super Troopers? To me, it's one of the most realistic no. uh, depictions of how kids talk to each other. At least when I yeah. went to school, of like how kids talk to each other. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't do Super Troopers either. That's crazy. Why? I don't think. What it's about funny. like uh, beer le- or beer fest, something like that? It's okay. What about what Euro the- Trip? One of those types. It's okay. What about Dumb and Dumber? Not really, man. I mean, it's a good movie, but the comedy is like, eh. man. What about? Porkies. That's better. Okay. What about Dazed and Confused? It's one of the better ones. See, that's more of a story. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's getting not... a little away from just comedy, though. Yeah, exactly. True comedy. The Hangover. Villain... Ooh. The Hangover's hilarious. Yeah, the first one's definitely the best out See, of the trilogy, you... but. You know, I wouldn't rank it, you know, top, you know. I really enjoy comedies when at least a secondary character is a traditionally dramatic actor or actress. Yeah, and I think and okay, like I, I, in, I, I, I when they're in comedic that. roles, like Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber yeah. makes it better that he has played the yeah. other roles that he has. Stuff like 21 that. Jump Street? The new sh- movies? Yeah. I mean, there's funny parts. Oh my god. Okay. I you're, I don't I I don't understand you. How, what about comedies like Blazing Saddles or Shaman loves Blazing Saddles? <laughs> no, I don't. What about Robin Hood <laughs> Men in Tights? No. I chew. You're allowed to like Blazing Saddles, by the way. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, he's 94. Who? Uh, Mel Brooks. Yeah. Well, I understand what he was doing, but people think it's funny for the wrong reasons. Yes. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, it's I don't, like a parody. Yeah, Mel Brooks was funny in what he did, but people who... <laughs> About racist people and people who viewed it a different way thought it was funny for the wrong yeah. reasons. Yes, they're laughing. In my with, opinion, they're with the characters. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I agree. That's what I like. I think Robin Hood, which is, funny. is more enjoyable. That one has more just like silliness yeah. in it. You know. All right. Yeah, like I'm I'm just not a comedy person. Like Don't get me wrong, I like to laugh, but eh. Shaman finds no happiness in cinema. Right. He'd rather watch Lord of the Rings and the Damn Dark. straight. Do you like girls that have like elf ears? No. He thought about it. Though. Yeah, I ha- like okay, to be honest, she looks good, she looks good either way. Right. But Shaman ain't fighting nature. <laughs> Yeah, if you can pull it off, you can pull it off. But yeah, like it, it, if you're dressing up for you know Comic Con or something, go for it. You ever been to a Comic Con? Yes. We should go. I would love to go. What would you dress up as? What would you dress up as? Oh, that's such a bro- that's such a Doctor Who. Which one? Uh. I want it to be known that I don't know what any answer that you're going to say. I dress up as Joe Rogan. You shave your hair? Yeah, no. I don't want to be Joe Rogan. <laughs> who, like, seriously, who would you dress up as? Oh. I might dress up as the lone survivor. The lone survivor? Fallout guy. Okay, I w- that would... I would dress up as, like... Uh, uh, Rico from uh, Starship Troopers. Okay, that'd All be right. cool. Well, I would That's like something that. out of the box that you don't yeah. really see, so yeah. I can dig dig that. Yeah, I mean, you MIB, might get asked who you are though a lot. Yeah, they might think I'm a Nazi. It's fine. MIB would be cool if you had. MIB would be if cool. you have like a uh, partner. Uh, just say it, Shaman. If you had a black guy with you, <laughs> I was not even gonna <laughs> go there. <laughs> No, I was like, it, like if you had a partner who dressed up, you know, yeah, in a no, suit I, as well. I get you. I'm just kidding. It's what it's what I do. Make jokes. You got to make make sure their names are just one, you know, letter off too. So, RoboCop would be sick. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That'd be a hard costume to do. Like you'd have to commit. You'd have to commit and do it right. I love seeing those ones that light up, move. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go to a comic con. I would love to go. I'd like to go to one and meet famous people. I don't even need to meet people. I just want people watching. Yeah, see, I went to a smaller one. Yeah, but that's one. going to it for the wrong reason. You can't. Are, are you watching in a judgmental way? I'll, yes. A little bit. Well, and I want to look at people's costumes. Yeah. Like, I went to the one down, like, uh, where was it? Canton C- Civic Center or something like that? It was, it was pretty small. I'm not going to, like, make fun of people. Yeah, because this is their pet. Well, we'll talk about it when we get back in the car. You're right. That's okay. That's what I everybody might. does. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, not, I'm not gonna act like I'm above it. Yeah. Just don't be a dick where they can see you. Yeah. Um yeah. Have a good time, like, you know. Would a bad costume be dressing up as Tom Cruise from The Last Samurai? <laughs> <laughs> if there's one you could get away with, it's probably that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In full armor. Yeah. Okay. Just wear a helmet the whole time. Yeah. I want a katana so bad. Get one. Yeah. You're a grown I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> 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 but get like an authentic. Like I'd like to get an authentic. Bro, you look. ever see how they make those? Like no, really I have make no those? idea. Bro, it takes years to make just one. Like the detail that goes into it. Them. Bro, like I, I, I've seen a whole series just them making one. Katana. I feel like they wouldn't sell it to me. 
<laughs> those and those uh, long bows that they have, yeah. bro, insanely powerful. Alex be cutting his hot pocket up with it. <laughs> Disgracing, bro. That's how you get them to eat vegetables, bro. Just let them chop it with a <laughs> katana, sick, bro. <laughs> get get a salad. You just be fucking chopping that yeah. shit. Did you know? You, I think you did tell me, but I heard like an explanation for it too. Ninja Turtles, the four Ninja Turtles, have weapons that are opposite of their personalities. Yeah, you knew that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think he's the one who said it. Yeah. So, like, what uh, what are those things that Raphael has? A sigh. Sigh. Yeah. They're not pointy. They're not sharp. They, they are sharp. The, no, the, the, the original or the like normal ones are not supposed to be sharp. So he has a purely defensive weapon because he's so aggressive. aggressive. Yeah. And who has the staff? Donatello. Donatello. Yeah. He is the tech guy, so he has the most primitive weapon. And then the nunchucks is uh, control. Control. And precision because he's all crazy and then just someone had to have katanas because he's the leader yeah. leonardo so cool thanks for that well <laughs> i just saw it on a tiktok i thought i'd share it so who would you be <sighs> he'd definitely be Leon- leonardo he would think he's leonardo but I, would, I would say that's he's a michael leonardo. Leonardo. i just took a personality <laughs> quiz and it said i'm a natural born leader so i would say he's leonardo all right, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna find a quiz that we can all agree on to okay. figure out which ninja turtle we each are next episode we're gonna talk about it okay okay and since alex has never seen the original ninja turtles movie but well, we should watch that at our movie night we should watch ninja yeah yeah that's not a bad idea we're watching ninja turtles that's not a bad i have idea. all three of them on dvd Bro, they're so good i mean the, i mean they're you know obviously from the 80s and 90s it holds up bro it, holds it up. does like they still look good. Yeah. I mean, they didn't use too many, you know, like bad gra- you know, no, CGI's yeah, it's guys in suits, so exactly. it's not, it's not like, yeah, and good suits too, yeah, like. especially for the time. A l- yeah. Every once in a while, you're like, eh. you'll catch it, but they do a pretty good job. Yeah. All right. Well, we got way far from Chris <laughs> Farley, and I, I don't know how, but it's all right. Um, yeah. Black Sheep is my favorite. Your Tommy Boy is your favorite. Let's move on. Uh, do you got any? What did you watch? Do you? Yeah. Um, you go. So uh, I I talked about watching The Punisher. So I've been kind of doing these, uh, you know, the old Netflix Marvel things. So I've been watching uh, Daredevil, okay. uh, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. I've been watching all of them off and on. Um, they're so much better than the Marvel uh, shows that they're making now. Oh, oh man. Bro, like, like just the new ones. Like, uh, She Hawk's not bad. Um, Shaman's gonna get a suit. Shaman lives in a whole different world than we do. <laughs> it's really incredible. But like, Moon Knight was very disappointing. I thought that was gonna be great. It was not that good. Um, Miss Marvel I only watched it, it, like two episodes of that. Um, uh, what was the other ones? Uh, the uh. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So you just started like five shows and watched a couple episodes of each. Yeah, and I just like eh, I ain't. I have had zero inclination to watch any of those shows. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. There's a whole lot of people in the same world that he's in. I I agree. We're probably outside. We we are. I think we're the minority. Minority. Well, a lot of people watch. A lot of people watch Marvel and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I just I think the Netflix couldn't get into it. Yeah, the Netflix versions of the shows are better. They're more, like, story-driven, yeah. I think, is why I like those better. It's not like, you know, whereas, like, you know, the new She-Hulk is, like, something different every episode. Yeah. So. Who's the hottest superhero or villain? Squirrel Girl. Oh. <laughs> Bro, she can. Squirrel Girl? And she's also one of the most powerful. Isn't she on SpongeBob? No, that's Sandy, bro. <laughs> no, no, Sandy, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> you did that very well this time. Thanks, thanks. I did actually did it over the weekend. <laughs> I was like, that's, I was talking to my brother. I was like, that's the only impression I can do. <laughs> I was like, you knew who that was, though, right? He's like, yeah, of course. I, uh, I, I'm inclined to say Mystique. She, yeah. I don't. She can change what, what's, anybody. What's the question? Who's the Who hottest, you, who's the super hottest uh, superhero or supervillain? 
super villain. I don't know a lot of super villains. Uh, poison, poison ivy. ivy. Yeah, dude. I was she, just about to say yeah. poison, probably. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Sorry. Back to what did you watch? What did you watch? So we, uh, it was actually after the Browns game, so we were just chilling. We started watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Season one, or like episode one. Wow, from the beginning. he's probably laying it on thick in the bro. It's amazing. It Look is, over here, brother. Yeah, <laughs> that was Hulk Hogan. I don't know why. <laughs> it's pretty fucking close too. Yeah. Um, they got to throw out Aloha, Aloha, brother. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is so funny. I got the strong arm of the law. How many did you watch? Like four or five, and. uh it's just pure American television. Would you ever be a bounty hunter? No. That shit's crazy. No, I would not. Because I don't... Are you allowed to carry guns? Yeah. Okay. There's a guy... Dude, there's a oh, guy... Oh, that guy. He yeah, the Akron me. guy. Yeah. yeah. He's crazy. He has a I think. I think you you have to have a separate, like, permit. Not just like it's a... Pro- probably like just like a CCW Well, he thing. calls the cops to assist them, too. Yeah. On the thing. Well, certain ones you do have Dog to. Does. I don't understand it at all. What what they do? Yeah, like you, they're allowed to look for him, and you know why are they looking for him? Because he has he, a warrant. Yeah, why? because he Different missed reasons. a hearing or a, his bond jump. So or, they gave him ten thousand dollars for bail. Yep, and then he didn't report back to court. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then and then that uh, whoever bonds thing then is the reward for him taking him back. Uh, so another bounty hunter could steal. Because usually bounty hunters are bondsmen. Yeah. So another bounty hunter could steal. Yeah, it, it, I yeah, guess. Yeah. yeah the the uh, uh, thing goes out, and then you look it up. Like, oh, this one looks like a good one. I'm gonna pick this one, but somebody else could pick that one as well. Mm-hmm. You're not like bidding on these contracts. So you're hunting human beings. Yeah. Love it. That's why everything's like a race against time. Because it's like the more the more more people you get back into the system, the more you get paid. God, they think they're so fucking cool in that show. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it's infuriating. So but there are very... Because it's just great. There is limitations to what a uh, bounty hunter can and yeah, cannot yeah. do. Because they cannot enter a home without the police there. The police ha- then has to have, like, probable cause. You know? But, yeah. yeah. What about you? Um, I finished the season of... Um, the resort, and it got it did get supernatural. Did, did it get better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got it drew me back in, and then took some twists. My wife that wasn't necessarily pleased with everything, but I thought it was good. Yeah, and uh, I think there will probably be a season two, probably, because there were some unanswered questions, but it all kind of came around. Where you been watching it on? Um, Peacock. Peacock. Yeah. And then I Peacock has that seventy show on it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't know that. And then I also started watching um Abbott Elementary. That just won some awards. Yeah. That's Is why I started funny? watching it. Yeah. I've I've only watched like two episodes. The girl hilarious. Who, she got famous from like a TikTok or yeah, TikTok. And now she's out here fucking winning Emmys. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. But yeah. It's a good show. Do you, have you seen a TikTok where it's the girl? She's like, he got money. Yeah. When they're at the like the movie theater and he keeps ordering shit. Yeah. No, that's her. That's her? Yeah. No, it's a well-written show. And uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. See, they're in inner city Philadelphia teachers. Yeah? Yeah. Who's the gym teacher in that? I don't know. Because the one guy from It's Always Sunny is mm-hmm. in a mm, yeah. show. Where he's a gym teacher and he's like a teacher, so I don't know if it's that one or a different one. I don't know. Okay. I thought you were talking about somebody else. Okay. How come all like gym teachers or like you know coaches are almost always like history teachers? Because all you have to do is show movies. <laughs> well, no, I'm not discrediting <laughs> history teachers. That's kind of what it sounds like you're saying. Well, <laughs> no, but you've ever noticed that, like, yeah. Well, I mean, for, like, me, I love 
sports and I love history. So, like, if I were going to become a teacher, it'd be either a gym teacher or history. Weren't you teacher. thinking of that at one point? I was. But here we are. <laughs> I coached one year of you Little You can League. still go. I could. Ohio is saying uh, pretty soon you're not even going to need a teaching degree. They're just going to hire anybody yeah. with a degree to be a teacher. Yeah, people have been making, like, jokes about that. And it's yeah. like, you could go be a history teacher, dude. Could be cool. Could be bad, but it could be cool. What grades would you teach? I'd like to teach middle school because... Um, Formative years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't, they have enough to worry about than being mean <laughs> to me. They have, like, their own problems. That would be pretty mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's an AP bio. That's the show I'm uh, thinking of. Yeah, because I was, I was thinking they haven't shown a gym teacher. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you it's go. It's a good show. So I'm just going to go. I'll probably go home after this. And What's watch. that on? Peacock. As well. You watch a lot of Peacock. What? Huh? You watch a lot of Peacock. Peacock is actually really good nowadays. I it, honestly, it's the the newest thing that I've like subscribed to. So I'm just like, it's like a, it's like f- new freshness coming mm-hmm. in. You know. And they have some really yeah. really good shows. In my so opinion. I'm gonna run through a couple of those, and I'll go back to Netflix and see what's new. And then. Yeah, Netflix and all of them get kind of stale yeah, yeah, after a while. Yeah, don't. Netflix is really declining. Oh, yeah. If they start putting ads in there, um, yeah. I'm really disappointed. Are you going to cancel your subscription? Well, no. Probably <laughs> not, but I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, I pay one of the apps. I think it's Param- Paramount. Um, I pay like the premium edition. And it still makes me watch ads. Really? Well, yeah. yeah. Pisses we, me off. Yeah. yeah. Because they don't consider those ads. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I fucking... Like I, serious I do the same Radio thing. does that too. Yeah. yeah. I, I do the same thing with Hulu. I pay the higher end shit so I don't have to watch the fucking ads. But they're like, oh, that's not considered an ad. I'm like, what the fuck do you consider it? You're advertising it, to me right now, bitch. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah, a fucking it's AT&T ad. Like, yeah. wh- what? What? And they're like, well, no, because that's not a... That's not in the vault, as they call it. And I'm like, well, it still shouldn't have ads. I should be able to skip them at least. For sure. Like, I can understand if I'm watching a football game, obviously it's going to have fucking ads because it's live commercials. Yeah. But if I'm watching something that, you know, it's a full length and I can fast forward and, you know, rewind this shit, there shouldn't be no fucking ads. Right. Yeah. Sorry, there's another topic that gets me. It's all right. Sorry. All right. As always, let us know what we missed. We kind of got uh, super off track. Yeah, but we, we, I wanted to talk about Chris Farley movies, but uh, we knew it wasn't enough for a full episode to talk about that, so we just kind of did a half and half kind of thing. So let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, um, where Shaman was wrong, and as always. Stay safe.